Okay, well, I just watched, well, not just today, yesterday, but last night, probably, well, way more, a little more than 24 hours ago, I watched this, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. The episodes were the Nagus and Vortex. Now, in, in, in the um, video, you're probably just going to see Star Trek Deep Space, yeah, maybe I'll put the Nagus and the Vortex, whatever. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. First of all, what were these episodes? Subpar at best. Everybody's right. Season one, now that I go back and check it and rewatch the show for the third time, I've watched it twice. The first time I watched it on Netflix, the second time I watched it on DVD, and um, the third time I watched it on VHS. And once I can't leave off on VHS anymore, I'm going to um, watch it on, um, what's it called? DVD, because I have the whole set. Okay, um, the Nagus was the Ferengi Supreme Financial Leader, Grand Zagas. Yeah, they make Quark the successor as a, as a trick to kind of see how he'll do. He does terribly, it's because he's not supposed to be Nagus, he's too... But then again, if you think about it, every Ferengi is, is about themselves and cares about profit and money. Quark would have been the perfect fix, but I, I guess, you know, they didn't think that way. And the next episode was the Vortex, and I didn't pay pay too much attention to this episode because it seemed really boring to me. The only interest Odin has is in Crodin, an alien from the Gamma Quadrant. Is that the visitor has killed someone on Deep Space Nine? Okay. Then Crodin tells Odo about a colony of shape shifting changelings hidden in an uncharted nebula and claims that he knows the way back. It's all bullshit. Well, the usually what they say. These are all aired in the week of April 19th, 1993. I'm surprised they don't tell you the exact date, but whatever. Um, to tell you the truth, this is one of the better cases, although the uh, around the sides of the glue is falling off and, the, and stuff, um, still intact. The tape was really good quality. These weren't watched that many times. Actually, about 95% of them were sealed. There was only like three or four that were um, opened up. And that was the Emissary episode, and that wasn't that great. It was okay, but it wasn't wonderful. All right, bye-bye.